Good evening. This is Ben from the World's Smallest Lab, K4ZEP. I'm going to show you the results of the Orbo Thomas motor. This is a pure Thomas motor with coils opposite of each other. And let's start this sucker up. This is at 15 volts. Uh, what I've discovered today, making a little bit more precise measurements as we go along. I'm going to drop it down to 10 volts here now just to keep the motor slower so it don't make some track it. Uh, is that the Orbo versus the Thomas. Uh, the Thomas is 9% more efficient electrical wise due to the generation action and is 18% faster than the Orbo uh, at the lower current. So uh, you can add up efficiencies, that, uh, you can play games with numbers, but it definitely works. Uh, it definitely works and works better. Uh, they both work well, but uh, due to the generator action and the increased torque, it's just a more efficient motor. Uh, we got rid of the side loading on the rotor where it was, so it wasn't beating the bearings to death. Uh, the bearings all sound rough. I keep putting the oil on them trying to get them to last here until I can build another machine. I'm going to have to get some good uh, ceramic bearings and make me a decent rotor and get it balanced and do it right. But this was just proving concept and uh, it runs very well now with a two coil. Uh, at this uh, configuration with 19 volts it will run approximately 400, not 400, it will run 4400 RPM at 19.7 volts in the Thomas configuration and it will run approximately 4100 in the Orbo configuration but at the same time the, the Orbo configuration will draw about uh, 130 mils and the Thomas configuration will draw about 95 to 100 mils so uh, and in the Thomas coils as it speeds up you will see the generation action the lower the current required Someone asked if the uh, uh, if the RPM changing the RPM or putting a load on the Thomas would change the current, and it will if you load it down and slow it down. The generator action uh, will uh, start to go away if you do a significant reduction in RPM, where the Orbo, the current, and the voltage will always be the same. And um, that's about it. Uh, Time to do some real thinking on how to make an efficient motor with uh, 12 to 14 coils and uh, etc. And see what we can do to make something that will really produce some horsepower with a powerful magnet. Thanks for watching. Just to show you some of the things I use here, I have my variable power supply. I have an LC meter and of course my old trusty fluke. A good old Chinese field strength meter. A, another good old Chinese tachometer and a very good tectronic scope underneath my <coughs> three feet by two foot shop here. So uh, <laughs> this is why I call it the world's smallest lab. So have a good evening folks and it might be a while before I post any more videos till I get something of significance to uh, show you. But it's been a pleasure bringing this idea to you. And uh, one more time, let's rev it up. 19 volts. Get do soon. That's all. This has been K4ZEP and good night.